Lightspeed Spanish, podcast number seven, early intermediate, and today our subject is the verb tener. Oh, oh. Hola, Cintia. Uy. Ah. <laughs> Hola, Gordon. ¿Qué tal? Yo estoy muy bien, ¿y tú cómo estás? Fantásticamente, gracias. Qué bien, me alegro. Eh, vale, entonces, uh, the verb tener. Cintia, the verb tener is quite a... Um, uh, a, a verb that's used for a lot of, of different things in, in Spanish. It, it's a bit more sort of, um, what's the word, uh, more flexible than our, than our English equivalent of to have, yeah? Um, where do we start? We, let's start with the, the conjugation of tener. Tener is to have, yeah? Tener. Nice way to remember it. I have a tener. Mm -hmm. So, um, how does it conjugate? Yo tengo. Tú tienes. Él, ella, tiene. Nosotros tenemos. Vosotros tenéis. Ellos tienen. Ok, great. Now, that verb is used just the same way as we do in English. Tengo, tengo un perro, tengo un coche, I have a dog, I have a car. Yeah? However, there are some extra things mm -hmm. that um, tener is used for that it isn't in English. For example, we've got, when it's followed by the word que, tener que, what happens then, Cynthia? It means uh, to have to. To have to. So, um, to have to do something, have not to, do to have something. to. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. To have to do something. So, for example, if you wanted to say... Um, I have to work. How does that go? Tengo que, and then the the following verb in infinitive, that means not conjugated. Yeah. So okay. in this case, tengo que trabajar. Okay. So basically, I have to to work. Yeah. Um, brilliant. And how would you say I have to um, eat something? Tengo que comer. Algo. Okay. So that's that's one, and it's a very valuable thing to, to learn because somebody can say, you know, what have you got to do tomorrow? ¿Qué tienes que hacer mañana? And then you can start to say, oh, well, mañana tengo que do this, do that, do the other. So it's a nice little uh, conversation piece too. Very easy to use. Tengo que, and then just the full verb, the full infinitive. Yeah. Um, what are the uses? That that's not the only use of tener, is it? No, we can use tener when in English you use to be. Okay, for example. We've got a list here. Got for list. example, yeah. in English when you say, I am hungry, mm -hmm. we say, I have hunger. Okay, so I have hunger, how do you say that? Tengo hambre. Tengo, yo no tengo hambre. Yo... You see, they won't. Okay, and does the same apply for thirsty then? Yes, so instead of I am thirsty, we say I have thirst. Tengo sed. Tengo sed. Oh, okay. Si, yo tengo sed. Mm -hmm. um, and what about uh, the other words? So we've got hambre, sed. For example, when you say in English I am cold. We say, I have cold. Mm -hmm. I, have cold. I have cold, yeah. So that would be, tengo frío. Tengo frío. Sí. O, because I'm English, tengo calor. I have heat. That doesn't happen very often. It's happening today. <laughs> tengo calor. Tengo calor. Uh -huh. So we've got uh, those. I have heat, yeah. Yeah, I have heat. I have heat. And then, um, I'm tired. Oh, I sleep. I want to sleep. Yeah. Tengo sueño. 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 Ah, okay. The word sueño is dream. As well. So yeah. I have dreams. I want. <laughs> I want to dream. Yeah. Okay. What about if you're in a hurry? Tengo prisa. Prisa. Um, and the way I used to remember that would be to say, "Please, I'm in a hurry. Please, I'm in a hurry." <laughs> Tengo prisa. Prisa. Mm -hmm. 
Now, what happens if you're lucky? Tengo suerte. Suerte. Ooh. You hear people saying, Buena suerte. Good luck. Yeah? Tengo suerte. Um, ah, here's a good one. It doesn't happen very often in this household. If I'm right. No, hasn't happened yet. But one day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How do you say I'm right? Tengo razón. Oh, razón, reason. I have reason. That's basically what you're saying. Or I could say, no tengo razón. That's what you anything. normally say. That's what I normally say. Yeah. Okay. Then um, I say, te lo dije. I told you so. I told you so. And I've been saying that for a while, yeah. No. Okay. Um, and then I think uh, one other important one is to be frightened. Tengo miedo. Tengo miedo. Yeah. Miedo. Okay. So they're the uses of, of tener. Okay. Oh, and one as well. Is there one? Tengo 28 años. Ah, of course, yes. We say I am a certain age, and they say I have a certain certain years, really. Mm -hmm. yeah? Okay. Okay, so it's a very flexible, it's a very valuable verb to know, to learn, have the conjugation down, off bat, um, whoever she might be. Now, <laughs> um, okay, so why don't we practice? Okay. We can talk about things that we've got to do tomorrow, yeah? Vale. Vale. Entonces, Cintia, ¿qué tienes que hacer mañana? Mañana es sábado. Uh -huh. Entonces, no tengo que hacer nada. Qué bien. No, sí, sí. Tengo que pasear al perro. Uh -huh. Tengo que recoger a mis hijastros. Tengo que limpiar la casa y hmm, nada más. ¿Y tú? ¿Qué tienes que hacer el domingo? El domingo, sin duda, tengo que trabajar en los podcasts. Tengo que escribir un poco de mi libro. Tengo que comer con mi familia y tengo que pasarlo bien. Hey, me gusta. Sí. sí. Um, vale. En este momento, Cintia, ¿tienes frío o tienes calor? En este momento no tengo ni frío ni calor. Mm. Estoy bien. ¿Y tú, en este momento, Gordon, tienes hambre o tienes sed? No, no tengo hambre porque he comido antes. Uh -huh. Pero sí tengo un poco de sed porque esta mañana he hecho footing uh -huh. y tengo sed. ¿Y tienes sed de agua o tienes sed de té? ¿O tienes sed de Coca-Cola? Creo que tengo sed de agua. De agua. De agua, agua fría. fría. Agua fría. Sí, sí. Y eh, en este momento, Cindia, ¿tienes sueño? En este momento no tengo sueño. ¿No? Pero en cinco minutos o diez minutos es posible. <risa> es la hora de la siesta. <risa> sí. Yo pienso en echarme una siesta después de los podcasts también. Sí. Mm. Y Gordon, mm. sí. eh, ¿tienes miedo de mm, las arañas? Antes sí, pero ahora no. No tengo miedo de las arañas. ¿Y tú? ¿Tienes miedo de las arañas? Antes un poco también, pero ahora no tengo miedo. No. Ahora me fascinan ah, las arañas. Sí, qué bien. Sí. Eh. Qué bien. Bueno, Cintia. 
That was well done. Ah, yeah. 10 minutes. Ten, ten minutes have gone by. So, we'll leave that podcast there. There you've seen how tener works. It's a very valuable verb. It's really worth spending some time on this, okay? Obviously, all the um, information and extra information is on the help sheets uh, if you were to need that. Okay, so, we're off. Nos vemos. Hasta luego.